Edexcel, A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, Summer 2019, Question 6. We need to solve for theta between minus 180 degrees, positive 180 degrees, the equation 5 sine 2 theta equals 9 tan theta, giving our answers to one decimal place. So the first thing to note here is that we've got a sine 2 theta. That will be a lot easier to solve if we use our identity of sine 2 theta equals 2 sine theta cos theta. As we're now dealing with sine and cos, if we can also change our tan theta into sine theta over cos theta, again, this will make it simpler. So substituting these in, we get that 10 sine theta cos theta equals 9 sine theta over cos theta. And we can see that there's sine theta on both sides. Now we can cancel these, but we need to remember the case where sine theta equals zero. So if sine theta was zero, we can see that both of those sides of the equation would equal, they'd both be equal to zero. So that's a special case, which I'm gonna leave over here. We'll deal with that in a moment. Very important when you're simplifying to remember those cases, the zero case. But now simplifying this one, removing the signs, we get that 10 cos theta equals nine over cos theta. Multiplying both sides by cos gives us cos squared theta equals nine tenths. So cos theta equals plus or minus three over root 10. So dealing with the cos first, if we inverse cos positive three over root 10, we get positive 18.4 degrees. Now we want theta between 180 and minus 180. So because of the symmetry of the cos graph around the y-axis, we know that minus 18.4 is also going to be an answer. And if we inverse cos negative 3 over root 10, we get to 161.6 degrees. And again, by the symmetry, we know that minus 161.6 degrees is also going to be an answer. We've also got our sine theta equals zero from earlier. So we know that if sine theta equals zero, theta must equal zero degrees and plus or minus 180 degrees. So there are all of our answers. Now for part B, we need to deduce the smallest positive solution to the equation five sine two X minus 50 equals nine tan X minus 25. Now comparing this to our original equation, we can see that it's the same equation, except we've just substituted X minus 25 in for the original theta. So we've got theta equals X minus 25. If we rearrange this, we've got X equals theta plus 25, where theta is gonna be one of our answers from the previous question. Now the important thing here is we want the smallest positive solution. Now if we look at our smallest thetas from the previous answer, so we've got minus 180 degrees and minus 161.6 degrees, if we add 25 to them, they're still negative. So they're not the ones we're looking for. Our next smallest theta is minus 18.4. Well, if we add 25 to that, it is positive. It gives us 6.6. .6. So that is our solution. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.